Things Fall Apart is a novel by Chinua Achebe and published in 1958 by William Heinemann Limited. It is the first of three novels in a trilogy and is followed by Arrow of God and No Longer at Ease. Many enjoy the book for its unique cultural insights, simplicity, and themes. The story revolves around Okonkwo, a wealthy warrior of the Umofia clan who faces banishment from his community for killing another clan member. After seven years, he returns but finds the community has changed a lot due to colonialism. Simply put, the main theme is the effects of colonialism on Igbo society, so if you are searching for a Things Fall Apart summary to help you pass your literature class, this is the plot summary just for you. Our experts have written down the key plot points, themes, devices, and other important information you need to know about this famous book. So please keep reading a summary of Things Fall Apart. Things Fall Apart Characters There are several characters introduced when you go through a summary of Things Fall Apart. These are 1. Okonkwo. Okonkwo is among the main characters in Things Fall Apart. He is hard-working and thus has a high status in the clan. He has three wives and is harsh since he is afraid of failing like his father, too. Enwoy. Enwoy is Okonkwo's oldest son, who is considered effeminate by his father. Ikemafuna influences him to be more masculine, but Ikemafuna's death changes his attitude toward his father and his ideals. Later, he converts to Christianity, which Okonkwo considers effeminate, but he is happy to be free from his father. 3. Ikemafuna Ikemafuna is a young boy who Okonkwo wins from another village as a peace settlement. He is a close friend of Enwoy and is a good clansman, but Okonkwo avoids showing affection to him. 4. Enzima Enzima is Okonkwo's favorite child. She is also Equifa's only surviving child out of ten who dies in infancy. She reminds her father of when Equifa was the village beauty, but he avoids affection as he believes it would be a weakness. Okonkwo also wishes she was a boy. 5. Mr. Brown Mr. Brown is the first white missionary in Eumophia and is a gentle and compromising man. He befriends many clansmen to promote Christianity and is somewhat successful. 6. Reverend James Smith. Reverend Smith is the strict and uncompromising missionary who replaces Mr. Brown. He does not respect local culture and even encourages his followers to attack those who follow traditional religion. 7. Uchendu. Uchendu is Okonkwo's maternal uncle who welcomes him to Mbanta. Five out of his six wives are dead, as well as 22 children. Unlike Okonkwo, he is peaceful, compromising, and grateful, advising Okonkwo to appreciate the village, or the dead will be angered. 8. Ezudu. Ezudu is the oldest man in the village and an important Umofia clan leader. He is the oracle's messenger. 9. Enoch. Enoch is a zealous Christian convert who disrespects the local religion. At first, Mr. Brown restricts his behavior to maintain harmony, but Reverend Smith encourages his fanaticism. 10. Unoka. Unoka is Okonkwo's lazy and spendthrift father. He died with many debts owed to clansmen, and Okonkwo strives to be nothing like him. Unlike Okonkwo, he was gentle and feared the sight of blood, so he never became a warrior. 11. Equifi. Equifi is Okonkwo's second wife and mother to Enzima, who is her only surviving child. She is very fond of her daughter, who calls her by her first name, and often fears losing her. Equifi is good friends with Kielo, a priestess of the goddess Agbala. 12. Ojugo. She is Okonkwo's third wife. She is the youngest wife and is Nketch's mother. 13. Akuna. Akuna is a Umofia clan leader who discusses religion with Mr. Brown, thus encouraging the missionaries to adopt a gentle approach to conversion. 14. Mr. Kiaga. Mr. Kiaga is a local convert who converts many villages, including Enwoy. 15. The district commissioner, 
The district commissioner is a colonial authority figure who has a negative view of the local culture and chooses Okonkwo's story as it reflects his beliefs about the locals. 16. Obierica. Obierica is Okonkwo's close friend who sells his yams while he is in exile. He is introduced early in the novel during his daughter's wedding party. He, like Enwoy, questions the local culture and norms. 17. Maduka. Maduk is Obierica's son who wins a wrestling match and won. Okonkwo wishes he had such a son. 18. Okagbu Uyanwa. Okagbu is the medicine man who helps Okonkwo find medicine for Azinma. If you would like help with a character analysis for other books, place your order for Affordable Things Fall Apart Summary Help Today. The setting of Things Fall Apart, the book is set in Nigeria in the 1890s, during the pre-colonial and colonial periods. The colonial government and local tribes often get into conflict over leadership and cultural erosion. This period also marked a shift across all of Africa, so many readers enjoy the book, as the Things Fall Apart setting offers a glimpse of pre-colonial Africa. Plot summary Things Fall Apart. The plot of Things Fall Apart is as follows. Okonkwo is a rich warrior of the Umofia clan. He has many unsettled debts inherited from his father, Unoka, so he worked hard to become a successful clan member. He fears that his son, Enwoy, will be as lazy as his father but he later wins a virgin and a 15-year-old boy, Imekifuna. He marries the girl and adopts the boy, growing fond of him over time, but he hides his affection. Afterward, there is a season of locusts that the villagers collect for food and will do so for a seven-year season. While celebrating the week of peace, he beats his third wife, Ojugo, for carelessness and shoots his second wife, Equifi for taking some banana leaves to wrap food, all of which breaks the peace. He offers sacrifices to repent, but it is not enough. Three years pass, and Ikamafuna inspires Enwoy to be more masculine. One of the elders, Ogbwefi Azudu, privately informs him that the oracle has decided that Imekifuna should be killed, but that Okonkwo should not participate, as the boy considers him his father. Okonkwo lies to Imekifuna, telling him that they have to go back to his village. Enwoy tearfully wishes him goodbye. On the way there, Imekifuna thinks of his mother, but he is attacked by clansmen with machetes. Imekifuna runs to Okonkwo for help, but Okonkwo strikes him down to avoid the clansmen seeing him as weak. This is against the oracle's instructions, but Okonkwo returns home and Enwoy discerns that his friend is dead. Okonkwo becomes depressed, but after visiting Obierica, he feels relieved. His daughter Azinma suffers from an illness, but she feels better after he gathers some leaves for her. Later, an Equi announces that Azudu is dead. At the funeral, he fires his gun as is the custom, but it explodes and kills Azudu's 16-year-old son. This is a crime against the Earth Goddess, so Okonkwo is sent into exile for seven years. He heads to his mother's village while the clansmen burn his belongings to cleanse the village. He receives a warm welcome, with his family building some huts and offering yam seeds. Okonkwo decides to change his life despite his problems. In the second year of his exile, Obeyrika brings cowrie used as currency which he got from selling yams. During his visit, he learns that Abame, a village, has been destroyed by white men. After a short while, six missionaries arrive in his village Mbanta. Mr. Brown, the missionary leader uses an interpreter Mr. Kiaga, and tells the village that their religion which worships several gods is idolatry, but the villagers do not understand how the Holy Trinity is one god. The missionaries are peaceful and avoid conflict, but Mr. Brown falls ill and is replaced by Reverend James Smith, who is very strict. The zealous converts are happy that they are now unrestricted by Mr. Brown. One of them, Enoch unmasks an Egwagwu, which the villagers consider equal to killing an ancestral spirit. The Egwagwu burns down the church and Enoch's home, 
so the district commissioner calls the clan leaders for a meeting. However, they are arrested and abused. Upon release, they hold a meeting where five court messengers tell them to surrender. Okonkwo kills the messenger's leader, but the clan does not help him and allows the rest to escape. Okonkwo realizes that his clan will not fight back. The district commissioner finds Okonkwo has hanged himself. Obierica shows him the body, but tells him that they cannot touch it as it is a sin. Okonkwo's story interests the commissioner, and he decides to mention it in his upcoming book, The Pacification of the Primitive Tribes of the Lower Niger, for tips on how to come up with something similar to this thing's fall apart summary. Check out our guide on how to write a summary of a book. Our Things Fall Apart summary writers have also analyzed and summarized other books, such as our Fahrenheit 451 summary. If you need help with writing any summary we have not covered, do not hesitate to place your order with Our Things Fall Apart summary experts today. Themes in Things Fall Apart 1. Modernity versus Tradition the book revolves around the changing Igbo culture as colonialism takes over. Some, like Okonkwo, choose to rebel against the changes brought about by Christianity and colonialism. However, others like Enwoy and Enoch embrace cultural change and view it as positive, too. Colonization, after Okonkwo's exile, the white missionaries show up, followed by authorities such as the district commissioner. The settlers view the locals as primitive and in need of assistance. The arrival of foreigners also means that local culture is slowly eroded. 3. Religion White missionaries arrive in the area to spread their religion, Christianity. Some locals like Enoch and Mr. Kiaga accept it and help them spread it by translating for the villagers. However, others like Okonkwo oppose it and fight back. The Iguagu is also upset when Enoch unmasks him and he burns the church in retaliation. As such, there is a conflict between the local religions and Christianity. 4. Masculinity Masculinity is among the major things fall apart themes. Okonkwo views his father as weak due to his failures and adopts a harsh attitude to avoid following in his footsteps. He also avoids showing affection to his children and views Christianity as effeminate. He also displays aggressive tendencies and beats his wives, as he feels these are the only emotions he should display as a man. During his exile, he avoids acknowledging his maternal ancestors and kin since they are not violent. 5. Repression, due to Okonkwo's idea of masculinity, he represses his emotions aside from anger and pride. Enwoy also represses his anger towards his father after he finds out that Okonkwo killed Ikemafuna. Literary devices used in things fall apart. 1. Symbolism. There are several symbols used in things fall apart. One of these is locusts, which are an allegory of the white settlers that the villagers welcome. The villagers view the locusts as being innocent and are unaware of how destructive they will be. These insects are also so numerous, they break some tree branches, which symbolizes the breaking of local traditions due to white settlement. Another symbol is yams, which are an important food that represents success and status. There are several festivals to celebrate yams, such as the New Yam Festival, which act as symbols of time. Okonkwo also made his fortune through yams, since he can grow many of them. Yet another symbol is the fire which is associated with Okonkwo's rage, which is the main emotion he shows. Okonkwo is destructive, both physically and emotionally, because he kills two young men and avoids showing emotion toward his children since he views it as a weakness, too. Motifs Animal imagery is one of the motifs in Things Fall Apart. For example, Enoch kills and eats a scared python which lends to the theme of religion and cultural change. This is because it symbolizes a shift from one religion to another and his action is considered disrespectful by the tribe's people. It also contributes to the theme of colonialism, showing how the two cultures clash, 
another motif is Kai, which refers to a person's god who brings them good fortune or bad luck. The villagers also believe that one's Kai responds to their desires. It is safe to say that Okonkwo is responsible for his tragic death since he willed his destiny. Oral storytelling is another motif that represents the tribe's shared identity. For example, Okonkwo tells Enwoi his versions of folk tales which show how each generation interprets them differently or the morals they would like to pass down. This is especially common for most traditional societies which tell stories of past generations and aim to pass down certain values to the youth. Historical or cultural context of things fall apart, since the book is set in pre-colonial and colonial Africa, it shows the shift in culture and Africans' reactions. Some like Okonkwo resist while others like Enoch collaborate. All this is due to their differing personal values, which also caused conflict in these traditional societies. It also shows the struggle of some to adapt to the new culture and authority figures. Things fall apart genre, as per the events in our Things Fall Apart summary, the book can be categorized as historical fiction. This is because it is a made-up story that takes place in the past and is a made-up story. Our Things Fall Apart summary experts also analyze themes in other books, such as our Othello summary.